Variety Boxing in association with Frank Warren and Queensbury Promotions here at the Peacock and we're joined by little Loco Lynn. How are you Louis? I'm doing good thanks Richard mate, how are you? Not bad, I'm glad yeah. to be uh, back out and about even at a considerable distance as we are yeah. now. But um, how much of a relief was it to you to oh, be allowed out the front door again? Yeah I know, it's over the moon, it's good to see you again mate and to be uh, back in the Peacock gym, I, I missed it so much and um, yeah it's just great to be back. That must have been 10 weeks of torture for you, wasn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it's horrible. You're a Duracell bunny, but you are. It was horrible. At, at, at first, I was just sort of training, like, tr like quite, like, you know what I mean, going at it a bit. And uh, then I realised, wait, hold on a minute, this is going on for a little while. But uh, every day I've been trying to do something anyway and just just keep on it. And uh, obviously, I'm like, praying better days going to come. So, What did you do with yourself for <sighs> 10 weeks? I don't know, just training, uh, walking my dogs, doing some housework, gardening. Did you get up early or Chilling. did you stay in bed? Or? Yeah, well, I did get into a bad routine for a little while, like staying up really late and that, and then I, and then I got back on it, started getting up early in the morning, I was trying to find that little part-time job and that, and, and, and I got a little one at the minute oh, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, just working at a recycling centre. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's easy work, really, you know what I mean? But in, this, in the free time, I'll be shadow boxing or set up a little thing for my head movement and stuff like that. So you buy yourself a nice little BMX? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what was I going to say to you? During that period of lockdown, I mean, yeah. given the fact that, like you say, you are such a fitness freak and everything like that, yeah. how did it work when you was, they said you could only go out for like an hour a day or half an hour a day? That must have been torture, wasn't it? Yeah, that yeah, that was hard, to, to be honest. But um, like I've, I think I might, I'll be honest with you, I did go out a few times, and maybe like to walk my dog have a run or something, but, but yeah, so I just... Did that really? Did you drive your mum mad? Yeah, and I had to go shop. I had to go shop a few times and things like that. So we weren't that strict on it, but I was keeping my distance from people and things like that. So that's all you can do, isn't it? Yeah. Um, going back to your last fight, you were lucky to get one in, really, wasn't it? I mean, it yeah. was quite near the end, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, mightily impressive. Um, Thanks, Richard. You, I mean, I've said it to a number of people now. I don't think I've said it to you, but watching you fight really puts me in mind of a young Josh Warrington. Yeah, yeah, I heard. He, he I ain't did done so bad, has he? No, nah, and he, he's a great fighter, and I've got a lot of respect for for Josh Warren, and he, he's reached the top of the division, isn't he? And that's something I aspire to do, and God willing, I'll get there. Because I mean, everything you do, you seem to do it with such huge intensity, don't you? It's just yeah. even the bag, it's a lot of noise, and there's just no no let up. Everything is everything's relentless, isn't it? I think yeah. Martin at the beginning sort of said. It tried to slow you down a little bit. Yeah, it's not yeah. seemed to be working, though, does it? I don't think so. My mum says that as well, and and I know what you're saying. And obviously, in long fights and that, you do need to be able to defend and, like, you know, what I mean, be cute and stuff like that. But a lot, a lot of fights I look up to, like Manny Pacquiao, or Julio Cesar Chavez, that I, I, I want to be one of them, like you say, all, all action fighters, and I want to be able to keep that. And I believe I can. Like today, we've done 12 hard rounds, and keep just keep that pace going. And I'm so hungry. I feel like I can. I'm ready to fight for top every round really yeah I mean there's no evidence that to. would say but you would burn out yeah you know, yeah, sort of, yeah you probably you're just a machine isn't it really try to be try to be but how does it do you, does that come through natural fitness or yeah. is it all your hard work what's that the you're, the you're, engine and that yeah yeah I, I mean think you, like, did you naturally fit were you at school across country you could just sort of go round and round and round yeah I was, yeah that's quite that's quite fit uh, but I think it's just because I, I, I want it so bad so every time I, I run like I'm trying to push myself as hard as I can or like you say on the bags and I just want to be the best that I can be and, and I pray for the strength like every time here because it's so hard every day like I just pray for a bit of strength when we're doing the runs or whatever that I can just maintain it and keep going because it's hard. So you actually call on your faith during these exercises to yeah, actually yeah, get you through Yeah, yeah, but definitely it. in the morning and that, yeah, sometimes, yeah, like I think, right, we've got a few more rounds, come, let's go, like, you know what I mean? And, and that just pulls you through. My head. Yeah, yeah, definitely does, yeah, a million percent. What do you know about what you've got coming up? Have you got been given any clues, indications? Um, Francis, Francis has said um, the end of July, hopefully, so the the, suit, the first show uh, I'm expected to be on, so I'm over the moon about that. They probably knew you'd certainly be fit, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, I think they so. Thought he'll definitely be fit. Yeah, yeah, I've been, like I say, I've been on it, and but coming back, obviously, you think you're you think you're fit till you start training with Martin and Eric and all, all the coaches here, and they right put you through it, but that's that's what you want, isn't it? So. Boxing behind closed doors. That yeah, that sounds to you. It's going to be something a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, it will be. Yeah, it's, it's hard um, when you haven't got the atmosphere. Because at, at my debut, it was a bit like that. Much as it was at the O2, there was um, 
they, they, they started the boxing a bit late. So like at five o'clock and they started letting people in at five o'clock. So it was a bit empty and coming out, mm. it's like, but it's nothing. You know, once the bell goes and that, it don't matter who's there. I think if you're one there. of these fighters that's talking about people being there or the atmosphere, yeah. I think you've probably got to get into your head is all the eyeballs that are going to be watching. Yeah, Because of where we're at and the amount of people that are at home, yeah. people are going to be lapping up every little bit of live sport. So yeah, there's going to be that's so true. many yeah. people watching, isn't there? It's that's true, be, you know, yeah. yeah. It's going to do you the world of good to get on that platform. Yeah, it will be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, and, and, and I, haven't had a, um, I haven't had a live spot with, with Frank Warren yet, so hopefully all this... People are going to be able to tune in, I, I believe, now, aren't they? How far do you feel you can get this year and what's left of it or the early part of next year? How quickly do you want to move yourself up? Yeah, I want to I wanna go as, as fast as I can, to be honest with you. But obviously, it's just it's all time and what the coaches um, get for me, like Ray and that. And he said, we're going to be having 50-50 fights now. And, and that's what I want, do you know what I mean? I, wanna, I keep saying I do want to fight the best and I do. So, it's all yeah, it's all time and... And uh, see, yeah. Well, you've seen the featherweights in that little tournament thing at York Hall. Yeah. I mean, you watch them and sort of think, I'm ready for this now. I watched, I watched, uh, I think I watched a little bit, but to be honest, I don't really, I don't really watch other fighters. To be honest, sort of, like, I don't feel like I need to. Obviously, I will have to watch them, I suppose, before I get in the ring with them. But like I said before, I just focus on what I'm doing and just make sure I'm doing the best that I can do, and I keep listening to my coaches and learning, and giving my all. So when we do get in the ring, I'll make sure I come out victorious. Right, Louis, we hope that we will see you in the ring in yeah. the first show, mid-July, I'm told, maybe late July. So hopefully we'll get some news very soon. Yeah. Louis, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Richard. Good to see you, mate. And you, mate.